What's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel and looking at my videos. Today I am doing a recipe based on a um, dish I used to have at a restaurant in California. I worked for The Gap on Polk Street and right down from The Gap there was a little coffee shop and that coffee shop had these little oat cakes. That's what they called them. It was kind of like a oat hockey puck but they were really good. And I've looked for the recipe and most of the times oat cakes are like biscuits or crackers or kind of hard things. These are really soft with raisins and really great breakfast alternative. Um, so this is my take on those oat cakes that I used to get at the um, little bistro. Can't remember the name of it. It's out of business now, as is the Gap on Polk Street. Um, but try it out, see if you like it. Enjoy. All right, we're gonna start out with three cups of oats. Now I use old fashioned rolled oats. You can use the quick oats, but I like the tooth that the rolled oats, the old fashioned give. That's one cup of all purpose flour added to that. One cup of whole wheat flour. You're gonna add one third of a cup of brown sugar. That's one cup of raisins. Can't get them out of the container. This is one half a cup of low fat yogurt, plain. That's one teaspoon of cinnamon and about a half a teaspoon of salt. Add a good teaspoon of pure vanilla, not artificial. You're gonna add one half a cup of honey. And to that, add one egg white. I have made the mistake of do a whole egg, but it leaves it really eggy tasting, so you do just want to use the egg white. Now, I do pre-mix this a little bit. We're going to put that on the mixer, but it tends to throw stuff everywhere. So if you pre-mix it a little bit, it, um, it'll save you some cleanup. Now, on a stand mixer with it on low, go ahead and drop your blade in and start it slow because it will still throw stuff. And you just want to mix it well. For some reason, my mixer is loose when it's on the lock setting. I gotta figure that out. And clean your paddle off and you are ready to make your oat hockey pucks.
Now you have your nine piles of dough with a biscuit cutter or some kind of form. You want to form these into your hockey pucks. So what I do is I round out the ball, take a biscuit cutter, just push it in to get a general shape. And that's it. You want to repeat that nine times. Now this will go into a preheated 325 degree oven for 15 minutes. You do not want these guys to brown. Just set. Once they come out of the oven, you're going to let them cool on a rack. I just slide the parchment paper off of the baking sheet and let them cool till they're completely cool. That's it guys, easy peasy recipe. Um, I do store those in the refrigerator because they have eggs in them. Um, I just put them in a Ziploc bag, store them in the refrigerator every morning. An oat cake with a cup of soy milk, yum. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like my video. You guys have a wonderful day.